And throw it one more time, and whoever gets that piece of paper, hopefully they will come up. I don't use any stooges. I would resent paying them. And the thought of conning you fills me with horror. Um, who's got it? Excellent, sir. You can deny it for so long, and eventually I will zone in. Come up. Give him a big round of applause. Hello there, sir. I'm Philip. You are? Martin. Hello, Martin. You look slightly reticent to be up here. Have a stand over here, if you would. Martin, were you one of the people that believes I probably aren't... I'm not psychic? Yes. Right. This could be a slow five minutes. Um, <laughs> is there anything I could do that would make you believe I'm psychic? I don't know. No? I don't know if you heard that. He said a replication of Dr. Zenner's 1930s ESP tests. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Andrew. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with this test, they're called Ghostbuster cards or ESP cards. Five simple but different shapes. A cross, some wavy lines, a square, a star, and a circle. And in a moment, Andrew, I'm going to give them to you. You're going to look through them and choose one. Whichever one you want, I'd like you to put it flat between your hands. And the others I suggest you hide away in a pocket somewhere, Andrew, so I can't see them. Otherwise, I've got this devilish system. I won't go into it. Um, <laughs> you choose one. I'm going to look away. Apparently more impressive that way. Um, whichever one you want, Andrew, put it flat between your hands, hide the others away, and it's up to you who you show what you choose. Okay, if you do that, Andrew. Andrew at this point is trying to second guess what he thinks I'm going to get him, what he thinks I will think he'll choose. So he probably won't go with the first shape he's drawn to. Have you done that, Andrew? Do you have one between your hands? Yes. Perfect. As far as you're aware, did anybody out there see what it was you chose? No. No, so it's only you that knows. Yes? <sighs> I don't know, Andrew. I, I don't know where his fun lies. Uh, how, how he thinks. What I do know, none of us like to be seen as readable or predictable. So as I said, we don't tend to go for the first one we look at. I think you looked at the wavy lines initially, Andrew, but I don't think you've picked them. If I've got you right, hold it up so everyone can see. I believe you've picked the star on this first go. If I'm right, hold it up. Brilliant. OK, cool. Thank you very much, Andrew. Um, thank you. Very good, but let's not renounce religion just yet. Uh, the second go, I think, is slightly more intriguing. I know for you the fun really is me getting it wrong. Let's be honest here. We don't watch Evil Knievel, Andrew, to see him get over buses, I find. So, you're going to be tempted to pick the same one again. And, of course, you're welcome to. A lot of people do, actually, Andrew, and I wouldn't think less of you if you did. Or one of the other four, of course. Do you know which one yet you're going to be choosing? No. You don't? Exciting. Uh, choose it. I'll look over here. If you're worried there's somebody in the wings helping me, then find yourself a quiet spot. Um, any ideas, madam, what you think he's going to choose? Whisper. Really? Just a feeling? Uh. You got that, Andrew? Yeah. Perfect. Again, did anybody see what you chose as far as you are concerned? No. no? And importantly, you know what you've got. Yes. You've seen it. Yes. Oh, Andrew, you've got that slightly guilty, apprehensive look in your eye. This tells me one of two things. He's either done what a lot of people do and not put anything between his hands, which, of course, is always hilarious, or... I didn't think of that one. Did you not? <laughs> you will. Um, or he's gone for the same one again. Um, it's rare because I mentioned that people do that, but Andrew, you have a maverick look in your eye. If I'm right, and I hope I am, obviously, um, you've got the star. If I'm right, hold it up for everyone to see. You swine! You did it again. Okay. Very good. If we have the time, one last go, Andrew. At this point, the rationalists amongst you are assuming this has got to be psychological on some level. I'm either reading Andrew in some way or influencing his choice. So let's eliminate those theories. Just give them a mix-up face down, first of all, Andrew, so you have no idea what they are. And then just put them all into one pocket. And then I'm going to look away, and you're going to fish one out, but not look at it. Okay. Flat between your hands, if you would. Don't look at it. Then no one in the room has any idea what it is that he's got between his hands. So I can't be reading him. Have you done that? Yeah. Good. Hmm. So, have you any idea what might be between his hands? There's a square, a circle, a cross, star, wavy lines. 
No. Apathy, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is, Andrew? No idea. Have a guess. It makes my finish so much more impressive. Wavy lines. Wavy lines. There's no way he could know that. He didn't know what he chose. No one in the room knows what it is. I can't be reading him. So how are you going to rationalise this if that is the wavy lines? Show everyone, Andrew, and if you're right and I'm right, they'll give us a big round of applause and we'll all go home. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much. Give him a big round of applause.